Hello and welcome. So we're back on level four, three, four, four. Yes, four. I'm an idiot. Okay, so where we left off, that's the warpath chamber. Coming here, this is our first secret. There's a locked door. There is another door here which we can get into. That's a hatching set of spider eggs. I like to think that this is Brother Mark's room from level three. He died, got eaten by spiders. So there's a little scroll here. I've sealed the door to my personal store with a key, but no such key as you may know, yet the keyhole is not for show. Not iron, nor bronze, nor gold, nor brass, but burning flesh shall let you pass. Now I'm quite proud of that little poem myself. So, no key will open that door. You need a specific item, and I will show you that item in a bit. Now, that is... it's the ogre maze down there. And there is a blocker in the hallway, I think it's like here, or the next couple of squares, and no monster can cross that blocker. So we are safe as long as we stay down here. But the instant you cross that blocker, you unleash those monsters. You unleash them, they can get in here and they can kill everyone. Why would you let them out? So I picked this up in the restricted section. That's just a nice little fireball stuff. It casts fireball, pretty much. I mean, and when it's depleted, it will start to cast fire burst instead. Which is quite nice. Now you see there's a set of stairs down at the other end of the dining room. That goes down to the kitchen. You can go down there. That's just a single room. There's not much else you can do. I mean, I'll show you what's down there. I'm just going to ignore this slime if I can. He's probably not going to want me to ignore him. Tension hose. It's terrible. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of food in here. A lot of food. Not that food was ever a problem, but there's also throwing axes. There's a note here. That crate's also got food in it. Prison key. That note just tells us that this here is a secret door, but it can only be opened from the other side. That prison key will be important later on, and I will show you where. It's not on this floor here. It's on another floor. Wow, there we go. So, down this end of the room we have the scribes' quarters. Now, I'm going to skip most of these rooms. These are just scribes' bedrooms. They're 4x4 four four rooms. They've got beds, they've got tables. There's nothing really important in there other than monsters. So, I'm not even going to bother showing you except this one. This is Mildred's room. Uh, he's the one who left us that note back up on the um, upper guard post telling us that there's a portal somewhere in the master's room. He's also got the key. This is the master Harchek's chamber. Now, it's a little bit of a hub for secrets. I will show you one of the secrets that are in here. This scroll tells us that the Wisdom Star is in fact a key. Put it on the bookshelf, and hey, it opens that portal, just like the note said. Amazing. So, we'll come in here. And this is the master's bedroom. Master's bedroom, not master bedroom. Complete difference there. So there's a blueberry pie there. Uh, if you walk there, you might notice that there is this book. It's a skill book. It will boost your energy. It will boost your spellcraft, but only if you're a mage. So that's that for now. There is another secret in there. I will show that at a later date. Um, there is a lightning blade there. That will give you the ability to shoot lightning bolts at your enemies. So it wasn't just a distraction, it was in fact a secret. Amazing. So we come back down here and I'm going to cross the blocker. Oh, you crazy fool. Now I'm going to probably be editing this video quite a bit because seriously, Ogre Maze, I'm going to die. You probably going to die too. You going to die. It's a burning fletch. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's an arrow. Arrows have fletching. That's the logic behind that. A couple of rune flasks, a life crystal, heart of the earth, whitewood wand, diviner's cloak, a book of the subtle frame. I can use this, that's for a rogue. Another caster's brand, that's always nice to have. Ever burning torch, and that's a um, venom's edge dagger. So all those items are actually pretty good. I'm just going to ignore them right now. I may come back and get them when I'm not recording. 
So these pain in the ass little guys, they're gonna come up here. And I'm gonna kill. Okay, so those pain in the ass guys come down here. I can see in here there's another room. You could rest in here, close the doors. You'd be fairly safe. There's a scroll here. It says that Kaelin Voss was sent down to comfort Torla after the Battle of Terran, who's been locked up in his lab since then. Important little thing I'm going to show you. If we walk backwards here and... Oh, surprise! That's bad shit right there. Just get him charged down here and kill him. Holy crap! Okay, that was an extra ogre. More ogre than I was counting on. Things are going remarkably well right now. So, if you read that scroll in the secret room, back in the history chamber, the war history chamber, that'll tell you that there are several famous figures. Um, the five most powerful mortal champions are the only ones who returned from the Battle of Terran, where everyone else in the mortal armies were pretty much wiped out by the immortal clans. And that's pretty bad. So Caelan Voss is the second amongst those. He's the weapons master and there was... this just opens the door. There's another one on the other side there that opens the same door. If you got ogred into a corner here then that's why that's there. So there's a staircase there. I'm just gonna ignore that right now. So Caelan Voss is the weapons master. He was the second to return. And then the twins, Marish and Tulav. And then there was one more mortal champion, Gael Reese, the archer. And he was in such a bad state that he died as they brought him inside. There should be more ogres around here. Oh, damn it! I should have totally nailed you with an assassination right there. Problem solved. And there's the last staircase down. So, all the bad shit happens after the Battle of Tyrion. The last time anyone would see Grandmaster Torlok alive is when he came, when he marched down to his laboratory after the battle. Caelan Voss went down to comfort him, and then something bad happened when they came back. Now you see that there are three stairs down. Uh, I showed you where those all were. This is the important staircase. This is the case that I will be going down, and this is where I'll be showing you the Mage Laboratories. That's the next level. Look forward to it, yo.